It's amazing to me how many of us have sequestered our needs for connection uh, just to get connection. We don't like we leave our needs behind. And um, so you got to get clear on what your non-negotiable needs are. And now it's about how do I state it without it being threatening? No matter how skillful and calm and chilled out you are, you could, it could be received as a threat by them. And that's okay. That's their journey to make. But you want to consider their feelings as much as possible uh, without tiptoeing, just saying it in a caring, kind way, but very direct. Hey, I have some needs and this matters to me. And I understand that there's a cost you know, and the partner might say, well, what if, what if I don't, not able to meet those needs? Yeah. Um, I've thought about that and it means probably that our relationship would, would end. I mean, I'd like to hear about your needs. So I'm just stating that that's obvious. I'm also like, Hey, what are your needs? Let's say that we have two totally different non-negotiable needs and they compete and it feels like there's not room for both of us. That's the point is to get a shared reality on, Oh my gosh, this is your needs. And these are mine. These aren't really that compatible. You want growth and development because that's non-negotiable for you. I don't care about that. I don't need to go to therapy. I don't need to read any of this relationship stuff. I don't want to listen to that podcast. I don't give a shit. Uh, Oh my gosh. Okay. Are we on the same page there that you don't care about it? I do. It's actually not negotiable for me. It is negotiable. Well, it's kind of not negotiable for you. You're not like, you're not really into it. So it's almost a non-negotiable for you. Is it honey? And then it's like, why are we in a relationship then? 